if you're working with stretchy fabrics on the Husqvarna Viking Onyx 25 sewing machine, I'm going to show you a stitch that you can manipulate, set it up correctly, and have the perfect stretch stitch for your fabric. So what are you looking for? If you sew just a straight stitch and then you stretch it, those stitches are going to pop and break. And I remember learning that lesson at a very young age when I thought I was sewing together a quick little knit t-shirt did a straight stitch and then put it over my head and pop, 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 all those seams I just sewed uh, broke. So what you're looking for is a stitch that kind of goes back and forth and has some accordion give to it. So we're gonna actually use a zigzag stitch, but if you look, a lot of these stitches have some type of back and forth. We're gonna do some overlock stitches. Those are technically stretch stitches as well. You can kind of use them along the edge to overlock your edges plus give that stretch for the seam. But if you're just looking for a quick and easy zigzag seaming like stitch, you're gonna take the stitch length and bring it all the way down to like one. So if you were at two and a half, bring it down to one. That's gonna bring it really close together. And then you need to not make it too wide. So let's start off with a width of two and let's just go ahead and stitch. So even though this stitch is kind of taking a little longer to sew, what it's doing is giving you some ability to pull along this seam and it will open up. Now, as you start to stitch, one of the things that usually happens is that your fabric starts to get a little wavy. Let's just take a look at it. We'll take it out and see. So you can kind of see it's a little on the wavy side, but no fear, you can actually adjust the pressure of your foot. So right now that foot's coming down really heavy. If you bring this all the way to the one setting, remember turn it and count how many times you've turned it, the foot is not gonna sit as heavy on the fabric. So it won't kind of stretch it while it's sewing. But look what we have here. So instead of those pop 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 of the straight stitch now we have a seam that actually gives when you put it on or stretch it over your head for a headband whatever you're making with knit fabric polar fleece fabrics you're going to need a stitch that will have some give so give that a try you might adjust your length and width just depending on the type of fabric you're working on but give it a try do some testing like i always do and see what's going to look good for the fabric you've selected